In this video, I'll break down some really cool transitions that you can add to your videos. Now, all these transitions you can find on my store, WinkinsMedia.com. I'm going to be using the Essential Transitions V1, V2, the paper uh, transitions, as well as these really cool camera shake transitions. So again, you can find all of them on my store, WinkinsMedia.com. Link is down in the description below. In this video, I'll break down how to go about actually installing these and then how to use these really cool transitions. So once you purchase the transitions, what you want to do you want to head over here click on go then go down to home and then find the movies folder double click on movies and then what you want to do is you want to find motion templates open up motion templates and then you want to drag the essential transitions v1 v2 and the paper up into the transitions folder and then the camera shake into the titles folder so if i open up the transitions folder as you can see it's the paper rip collage transitions essential transition and the essential transitions v2 so those three are go in the transitions folder and then if I go to the titles folder as you can see camera shake so that's where you want to put the four transitions just remember the camera shake transition not supposed to be in the transitions folder it's actually just a title plugin so I have these two clips as the example these are just from the polo G music video now as you can see I have the clips right here now you could just apply a transition onto these clips but you might sometimes get an error message where it says like not enough media to create the transition so if if you ever get an error message of uh, showing up what you want to do is you want to take the first clip and you just want to trim the end of the first clip it'd be like 10 15 frames and then you want to go to the beginning of the second clip and then just trim it like, like so just in case that error message comes up where it's saying like you know can't create transition not enough media go ahead and just trim the end of the first clip and the beginning of the second clip so what you want to do is head over here to the transitions tab so open this right here and as you can see essential transitions v2 essential transitions and then paper up collage transition so as you can see we go to the essential transitions v2 I'm gonna go through and just gonna slowly scroll through so as you can see here are all the transitions that come in the essential transitions of v2 pack and then I'll go to the essential transitions one and I'll kind of scroll up as you did now as you can see here are all the transitions that come in the v1 pack so as you can see there's just some really cool transitions so what you would do is either you either buy the v1 or the v2 just find the transition that you want Let's go to the V2 one and just scroll down. I'm gonna use one of the whip pan transitions. So scroll down as you can see, we find whip pan left. So let's say this is the transition that you want to use. So let's kind of use our mouse to scroll over. Now what you want to do is you just want to hover over whichever transition that you want to apply and then kind of with your mouse, click on the transition and then just drag it in between your two clips. And literally as simple as that. And that's, that's, that's uh, same steps apply for all the other ones. So we go ahead and play the transition. This is what it looks like. Now you have this really cool like whip pan transition. Now let's say that's happening a little too slow. We can actually select on this transition and then either drag it out to make it longer or in this case we can go ahead and just trim it so the transition happens a lot faster and again those same steps apply for all the other transitions so if we play it right here now this transition is going to happen as you can see a lot faster and all the transitions if I go frame by frame have motion blur so as you can see right here so it's just really nice and again all those same steps apply now if you don't want if you don't like this transition select on it and then just press the delete key and let's say we want to use a different one so let's go to the v1 pack kind of scroll through and figure out which ones uh, we want so we have like warp twist we have shake rgb all these really cool stuff so let's kind of figure out which one we want to use so let's say we want to use this really cool film roll transition so again move your mouse over uh, use your mouse to click on the transition and then just simply drag it into place and then we can go ahead and just disable the window and there you go literally just as simple as that drag and drop transitions and there you go now you have a really cool uh transition so let's go ahead and delete this transition and let's head over to the paper rip collage so if I head over here to the paper rip collage and find this paper rip collage transitions as you can see it comes with a total of eight paper rip collages that we can do is just use a mouse scroll over and let's just randomly select one paper collage for again just drag it in between the two clips and there you go now for the paper rip collage the Polaroid transition any of these that have like drop zones so as you can see there are drop zones right here let me show you how to go ahead and actually use it so go ahead and drag your play hit over to the first one so here's the first drop zone it's going to be all in like sequential order 
Now what you want to do is you want to find a photo that you want to use. So select on this transition and then go ahead and literally select on this drop zone, select on the photo you want to use, click apply clip and there you go as simple as that. Now you can select on this transition and now you can of course adjust the position or adjust the scale. So you can see we can move this around to get it into the position that we want. So let's say we like that. Now let's go ahead and take the playhead and drag it over to as you can see the second drop zone. So again it's all completely in order. Now select on this one and select on a different photo. So photo three, click on apply clip and there you go. Now you can select on this transition and again do the same thing. Adjust the scale, adjust the position to get to your liking. So any of the transitions that have drop zones, that's how you go ahead and use them. And you could use videos, but I would recommend just using like PNG or JPEG photos or even just screenshots. So we go ahead and play it right here. This is what it looks like. You have this really cool like paper collage transition. And again, if it's happening too slow, take the transition, drag it to make the transition happen a lot faster. So we go ahead and play the clip. As you can see, there you go. Now you have this really cool, so as you see, it's happening a lot faster. So obviously if it's happening too fast, you can go ahead and drag it out to make it happen slower. It's all a personal preference. So let's go ahead and select on this transition and then just delete it. And now let's go up to the camera shake transition. So let's zoom in a little bit so we can get a better view of our actual clips. Now head over here to the titles and generators category and you wanna find the category camera shakes. And as you can see, you have a whole bunch, so a total of 20 shakes. So let's select on one randomly. So let's do shake six. Now what you wanna do is you wanna take this title and then you see we're just gonna drag it on top of our clip. Now what I would recommend doing is as you can see as I'm doing right here, you want a little bit, let's say maybe like the first couple frames to be overlapping on the top on the first clip and then the rest on the second clip. Obviously you don't have to do that, but I would have the title overlay again overlapping just a little bit. So we go back and let's you know zoom out and let's see what this looks like. So if we play this clip right here, let's go to the beginning, you have as you can see this really cool like camera shake transition and there you go. Just as simple as that. If I go ahead and play it, as you can see you have motion blur, the edges are already mirrored and there you go. Now we can select on this one, let's say we want to use a different one, you can select it, delete it. Now let's say like maybe like shake 18, again overlap a little bit onto the first clip. Again all personal preference but that, would, but that is what I would recommend. Wait for it to render, it already has motion blur, the tiles are already mirrored, the edges are already mirrored and it has this really cool flash. Play it again and as you can see you have this really cool camera shake um, transition. Now we can select on this one and let's just you know again select on another random one. Maybe let's go back to like shake eight or something and then overlap it onto this clip. Now let's say you don't actually want the flash. You can actually completely disable that if you don't like the flash. I think the flash makes it look a lot better, but we can go ahead and play right here. As you can see, you have this really cool flash. Now we can literally select on this clip head over here to this and go over here to flash and then just uncheck it and now you're not going to have any flash with the camera shake so if we wait for the video to render out let's play it right here as you can see now there is no flash. You can either have the flash enabled or just completely uh, disable it. And that's how you add some really cool transitions to your videos in Final Cut Pro. Now all these packs again are for sale on my website winkinsmedia.com. There should also be a coupon code on, that, on the website that you can use to save some money. And if you enjoy these types of videos, make sure to go and hit that subscribe button. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.